This is stochastic processes uh, model 7 Brownian motion and its applications. This is lecture 5 Eto formula and its variants. In the first lecture we have discussed the Brownian motion definition and the properties. In the second lecture we have discussed the process derived from the Brownian motion. In the third lecture we have discussed uh, stochastic differential equation. In the fourth lecture, we have discussed the Eto integrals. And in the, all the four lectures, we have seen a few examples also as the applications. In the lecture 5, we are going to discuss the derivation of a Eto formula. Then we are going to give a few examples followed by the examples we are going to discuss the variance of Eto formula in particular Eto Dobigli formula then we are going to give uh, two three examples also and followed by the examples we are going to discuss the remarks on Eto formula in the next lecture we are going to discuss uh, some important SDEs and their solutions. Recall what is the meaning of a stochastic differential equation. A differential equation is of the form dxt is equal to the function of uh, t comma xt multiplied by dt plus some other function that is sigma of t comma xt and the d of wt. You know that uh, wt that collection is a stochastic process that is a standard Brownian motion which is nowhere differentiable and uh, unbounded variation. Therefore, uh, this differential equation is uh, different from the ordinary differential equation and the differential equation with the term dwt this type of equation is called a stochastic differential equation. So, the interpretation of 1 tells us that the change d of x t that is nothing but in a t 2 t plus delta t the change is x plus x of t plus delta t minus x of t that is caused by the change d t of time with the factor p of t comma x t in combination with the a change in the dwt that is uh, in the interval t to t plus delta t the change is uh, w of t plus delta t minus w of t that is of Brownian motion with the factor sigma of t comma x t. So, in this lecture we are going to discuss how one can solve the stochastic differential equation of some special cases using Eto formula. The derivation of a Eto formula is as follows. You assume that uh, the real valued function x of t as a function of t is a function of wt where wt is a standard Brownian motion. Assume that f is a at least a thrice differentiable function. Borrowing ideas from classical Taylor series, we can informally write series expansion of the function f of dw f of wt. So, that means f of w of t plus delta t minus f of wt is equal to you get the difference then the first derivative of the function f of t f dash plus 1 divided by 2 factorial the difference whole square the second derivative of the function f plus 1 by third factorial difference whole cube f 3 factorial and so sorry f power 3 third derivative of the function and so on. So, this is the Taylor series expansion of the function f with the assumption that f is a twice differential. Our interest is to solve this stochastic differential equation. So, for that we are making we need a solution x t which satisfies this equation. 
So for that we are making the assumption xt is going to be a function of wt and also we are making the assumption f is twice differential. Now we are using the Taylor's theorem so that we are able to get this Taylor's series expansion. Since wt is a Brownian motion you know so we know that dwt dwt is equal to dt that is nothing but uh, the quadratic variation of uh, wt is uh, dt w, the quadratic variation of wt is uh, t in the interval 0 to small t whereas uh, the cross variation of uh, wt with the t that will be 0 similarly the quadratic variation of a uh, t will be 0 so we are using these uh, in the above Taylor series expansion Therefore, we will not have the third and fourth terms and so on. So, those derivative, those terms will be vanished. So, we will have the dxt that is nothing but the f of w of t plus delta t minus f of wt that is dxt that is nothing but f dash with the dwt that is nothing but a is f dash wt the increment that is nothing but the d of wt therefore this difference will come this side that will be a dxt so the dxt is equal to f dash dwt 1 divided by 2 this is a dwt multiplied by twt f double dash we know that the dwt dwt is equal to dt therefore the second term will be dt and this is because of a dwt dwt is equal to dt whereas the further terms will vanish so this can be written in the integral form that is x of t is equal to x of 0 plus 0 to t f dash ws dws plus 1 by 2 0 integration 0 to t f double dash dw ds <coughs> We note that in these two integrals, the first integral is a eta integral because f is a twice differentiable. So, f dash of w s integrand function of w s, the integrand is a f dash of w s, and the integration with respect to w s, you can see the conditions of eta integrable that is satisfied therefore this is going to be a eta integral whereas the second integral integration with respect to s therefore this is a Riemann integral now I am going for the general definition of a eta 1 that is in 1959-51 Ito stated and proved what is known as a Ito formula for the stochastic process xt that is nothing but d of f of xt is equal to f dash of xt d xt of f double dash of xt the quadratic variation of uh, x of interval 0 to t for the stochastic process xt you can make a eto formula that is nothing but uh, the increment of a function is same as a f dash dxt plus 1 by 2 f double dash the quadratic variation of the interval 0 to t of the function x let's see the simple example remember that uh, the eto formula is valid for uh, only special cases of uh, stochastic differential equation not for all the not for every stochastic differential equation can be solved using the eta formula let us evaluate the integration 0 to capital T w of t dwt integrant is wt integration with respect to wt therefore this is a eta integral you can verify the conditions of eta integral the wt is the adopted process with respect to the filtration f of t 
and also this is mean square integrable therefore this is a eta integral so we can evaluate this eta integral so instead of evaluating this eta integral by the definition that we have discussed in the the lecture uh, 4 that is nothing but limit n tends to infinity the summation i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 w of si multiplied by w of si plus 1 minus w of si that is the way we can evaluate the eta integral by definition but here we are going to evaluate the same integral using the eta formula how let us see the eta formula the increment of f is f dash dwt plus half time of f double dash wt dt. This can be written in the integral form f of w of capital T minus f of w of 0 that is equal to plus integration 0 to capital T f dash dwt plus 1 by 2 integration 0 to capital T f double dash here we are evaluating 0 to capital T therefore this is a function evaluated at the point capital T is equal to function evaluated at the point 0 plus integration 0 to capital T plus half times integration 0 to T. So if you want to solve this equation you can compare that equation with the integral form then you can find out what should be the function such that f dash of wt will become a wt. If you want to solve the integral equation, eto integrals or the corresponding stochastic differential equation, you have to use the eto formula such a way that the integral the eto integrals are going to be matched. So you have to find out the function f such that uh, this integration is same as uh, this integration. That means uh, you have to find out uh, the function f such that uh, f dash of wt is equal to wt. That means uh, the f is going to be x square by 2. Then only the f dash of wt will becomes wt. So take f of x equal to x square, now you substitute in the above eta integral form, integral form, the eta formula in integral form, therefore you can evaluate this integration without actually evaluating the eta integral. So by choosing the function f of x equal to x square by 2, this eta integral is matched with this eta integral. Therefore, f dash of x equal to x, f double dash of x equal to 1 because f of x is equal to x square by 2. Therefore, if you see the integral form of uh, eta formula, f of wt minus f of w0 is equal to integration 0 to t that is the required integration wt dwt plus half times uh, this is a Riemann integral. That means this eta formula which connects uh, the increments and the Riemann integral includes the Ito integral. Therefore, Ito integral can be evaluated using the Ito formula. So, for that you have to evaluate the Riemann integral and the value evaluated at the both the limit points, limits, upper limits and the lower limit. Hence, f of w of t, f of x is x square therefore it is a wt whole square by 2 minus w0 whole square by 2 is equal to this integration plus of the Riemann integral. So the Riemann integral is nothing but 0 to t f double dash f double dash is equal to 1 therefore uh, Riemann integral is 0 to t 1 dt. So that is nothing but uh, <coughs> T therefore the eta integral is nothing but wt whole square minus t by 2. So in this example we are not actually evaluating the eta integral using the definition but we are using the eta formula to evaluate the eta integral or the corresponding stochastic differential equation.
instead of integration from 0 to capital T, one can go for the variable limit small t also. In that case, it is a 1 divided by 2 wt whole square minus t for t greater than or equal to 0. The additional term minus t by 2 is because of the local increment of the vernier process over the increment of the length delta t is of the size of its standard deviation square root of delta t. Because this is a Ito integral, the extra terms comes because of the vernier process quadratic variation is a small t. If it is a Riemann integral, then it is a simply 1 by 2 wt whole square. So, for a smooth continuously differentiable function f of x, the second term in the right hand side is 0. So, this term will be 0 if uh, the integrand, sorry not integrand, this, uh, the right, this, this term will be 0 if uh, the integration with respect to the function which is uh, smooth continuously differentiable. Now we are moving into the second example. In this example, we are going to show that WT whole cube is a Ito process and also it is asking find the stochastic differential of WT whole cube. So, you can choose the function f of s x is equal to x cube, you can apply the Ito formula, you will get a WT whole cube is equal to 1 by 2 integration 0 to capital T 6 times WT dt plus integration 0 to capital T 3 times WT whole square dWT. So, this is the Ito integral and this is the Riemann integral. Therefore, the differential form will be d of WT whole cube that is nothing but 3 times WT dt plus 3 times wt whole square dwt that is a differential form. The integral form is this one. You know that uh, wt is an adapted process therefore, uh, 3 times wt whole square that is also adapted process and also 3 times wt whole square is a mean square integral because uh, the WT is a standard Brownian motion, the increments are independent, stationary and the increments are normal distributed random variable with the mean 0 and the variance t. Therefore, uh, the 3 times WT whole square that is also mean square integrable. Therefore, you can control this is a Ito process. The WT whole cube that is a Ito process. So, instead of the fixed limit a capital T, if you go for the variable limit a wt whole cube, then the integration is 1 by 2 0 to small t 6 ws ds plus 0 to small t 3 ws whole square d ws. So, that is going to be the Ito process and the corresponding differential uh, stochastic differential equation is uh, d of wt whole cube is equal to 3 times wt dt plus 3 times wt whole square dwt. So, in the lecture 4, we have discussed when we can say the given stochastic process is a Ito process. So, we have to verify those conditions are satisfied. Then we can conclude a wt whole cube is a Ito process. Now, we are going to discuss the variance of Ito formula. As I said, uh, Ito formula is valid. Ito formula will be useful to solve uh, some special cases of uh, stochastic differential equation or the Ito integrals. Not all the, not every stochastic differential equations. So, the simplest form of Ito formula is uh, x t is equal to x of 0 plus integration 0 to t f dash w of u d w u plus 1 by 2 integration 0 to t f double dash w d u where this integration is a Ito integral and this is a Riemann integral. 
since it relates the difference is in terms of Riemann integral and the Ito integral one can solve the Ito integral one can solve the Ito integral as long as the function is a twice differentiable then you can evaluate the Ito integral using the Ito formula and here we have used the quadratic variation of a wt is equal to t therefore uh, you will end up we will have the integration with respect to u that is a Riemann integral. Now we are moving into the second version or version 2 of Ito formula. In this uh, we have assumed the function with the two variables t comma x where x is a function of t. So here we start x of t is equal to function of a t comma wt. Earlier we have assumed x of t is equal to function of wt alone, but now in the version 2 we are making x of t is equal to function of t with wt. Therefore, the expression of a t of f of a t comma x b the increment in the t increment in x is same as f of t comma x plus the partial derivative with respect to t dt plus partial derivative with respect to x dx. So these two terms are related to the first derivative plus 1 by 2 factorial that is 1 by 2 you have to include all the second derivative. So second derivative with respect to t second derivative with respect to t as well as x then second derivative with respect to x there are three terms plus 1 by 3 factorial like that you should go for 3 partial derivatives and then 4 partial derivative and so on again you can use uh, the quadratic variation of a wt is equal to t and the cross variation is 0 and dt dt is equal to 0 and so on therefore we will get so f of t plus delta t comma y of y of, comma w of t plus delta t is same as f of t of w t plus partial derivative of f with respect to x multiplied by d w t plus partial derivative of f with respect to t multiplied by t t plus 1 by 2 second order partial derivative of f with respect to x multiplied by dwt dwt and so on. We interpret dwt dwt as dt dwt dt is equal to 0 also dt dt is equal to 0 we get f of t plus delta t comma w of t plus delta t that is same as f of t comma wt plus partial derivative of f with respect to x multiplied by dwt plus partial derivative of f with respect to d t plus half times second order partial derivative of f with respect to x both the terms multiplied by dt. Therefore, the left hand side becomes the derivative of f whereas the right hand side is you can simplify as a partial derivative of f with respect to x multiplied by d w t and there are two terms for the d t the first term is partial derivative of f with respect to t plus half time second order partial derivative of f with respect to x multiplied by d t. So, you will get only one term which has a d w t whole square that is d w t d w t term that will be the dt. Therefore, you will have a dt with the two terms one is this one and the other one is the second derivative one term so that is those dou square f by dou wt whole square. So, these two, two terms as the term dt and the other term is dwt. Therefore, <coughs> the increment d of ft is nothing but a partial derivative with respect to x dxt 
plus partial derivative with respect to t dt and a partial derivative with respect to dxt dxt when xt is a wt then it is a dt. So, in general for a eta process x of t it is going to be d of xt into d of xt and the eta process can be written in the general form xt is equal to x of 0 integration 0 to t a function of uh, s a1 and another function of s that is a2 dw s where both the stochastic process are adopted to natural filtration f of t as well as uh, this integrant a2 of s is a mean square integral then the stochastic process is a eta process for any eta process you can have a version 2 eta formula that is a dw df increment of f is equal to partial derivative terms first order and second order terms here the assumption is that the function has a continuous partial derivative at least a second order then only you can write down with the first order partial derivative and the second order partial derivative so the increments the difference is equal to the first order partial derivative multiplied by dwt and the first order partial derivative with respect to t plus 1 by 2 second order partial derivative with respect to wt into dt with the assumption the xt is a function of t with the wt and it has a continuous partial derivative at least a second order let us see the simple example consider the stochastic differential equation is of the form dxt is equal to xt dwt so this is a stochastic differential equation because uh, it's an increment with respect to the linear process with the initial condition x of 0 is equal to 1 so you can use the eto dublin formula that is a uh, the increment of the function f is uh, derivative with respect to t derivative with respect to x dt plus half times f double dash plus f dash dwt so now you can substitute f of x f of t comma x as e power x e power minus t by 2 therefore the f dash of t that is nothing but a minus 1 by 2 times f f dash with respect to x that will be the f itself f double dash that is also again f therefore you can <coughs> the df is equal to the df is equal to f dash f dash t plus half times f double dash dt plus f dash x dwt so you substitute all the values which you got it in the previous one that is f dash of uh, t f double dash of uh, x f dash of x you substitute all the values simplify you will get the equation that is x of t dwt so since it is satisfying the differential stochastic differential equation d of x t is equal to x t d w t therefore the solution f that is e power x minus sorry e power x times e power minus t by 2 that is the solution of a given stochastic differential equation hence the solution is a e power w t e power minus t by 2. you can prove that uh, this is a eta process also you can prove that this is also a eta process by writing this as the eta integral you can prove that this is a eta process already we made a one uh, proper observation eta process is a martingale means eta process satisfies the martingale property therefore this is also a martingale e power wt 
times e power minus t by 2 that is a martingale also. Next we consider this example d of rt is equal to alpha minus beta times rt multiplied by dt plus sigma square root of rt dwt where alpha comma beta and sigma are positive constants. This is called a CAR model for instantaneous interest rate. For this stochastic differential equation the closed form solution is not possible. This can be proved easily by taking g of t is equal to e power beta times t multiplied by r of t. Hence the stochastic differential equation for g of t would be d g of t is equal to alpha times e power beta t times d t plus square sigma times square root of r t d w t. The stochastic integral form we have e power beta times t r t is equal to r of 0 plus alpha divided by beta times e power beta t minus 1 plus sigma times this stochastic integral with the integrand e power beta of u square root of r of u where r of u is a unknown. In this equation the term square root of r of u appears in the right hand side of the Ito integral. We are not able to get the closed form solution or closed form expression for r of t when you are solving this stochastic integral equation. Some numerical techniques are needed for computing r of t at any given t. The remarks on the Ito formula. The first important remark it is used to compute stochastic integral, it is used to compute the solution of a stochastic integral for some special cases, not for every stochastic uh, integral equations or stochastic differential equations. In these examples, so we have used for the Ito processes or diffusion processes in general diffusion process, but this can be extended to the jump process also. So, the jump process can be written in the form of a x of t is equal to x of 0 i of t plus r of t and j of t. In these uh, the j t terms is a right continuous pure jump term. So, if you exclude uh, this uh, j of t then the x of 0 plus i of t r of t that will give a continuous part. This gives the continuous part and this gives the right continuous pure jump term. So, the i of t is nothing but the Ito integral whereas r of t is a Riemann integral. Therefore, the integration with respect to S and here integration with respect to Vernier process and both are adapted process. Therefore, without j of t without j of t x of t the, has a continuous part this much and that is a Ito process including the j of t that is a right continuous a pure jump term therefore this is a jump process. So, one can apply the Ito formula for the jump process also. So, the difference is uh, with the Ito process for the sorry uh, Ito formula for the Ito process this is extra term because uh, x of s has a right continuous jump. So, therefore, this is going to be a f of x of s minus f of x of s minus the left limit at the point s evaluate between the interval 0 to small t. You include this term plus include this term and that will be the Ito formula for the jump process where x of a power x of a superscript c means it is a continuous part of a stochastic process x of t that means uh, without x t term this is a continuous point x superscript c of t is nothing but x of 0 plus i of t plus r of t.
the Ito formula can be extended to the multidimensional stochastic processes also. So first we started with the Ito process, then we have extended to the jump process and this can be extended, Lito formula can be extended to the multidimensional stochastic processes also. Note that uh, it is used to compute the solution for uh, special cases of uh, stochastic differential equations or Ito integrals. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss uh, some important uh, stochastic differential equations which has the applications in uh, mathematical finance. The first example is geometric Brownian motion. So the underlying stochastic differential equation is this, where S of t is the stock price at time t and mu is a constant growth rate of a stock, sigma is the volatility. And we can find the strong solution S of t as a function of a t with a wt. So we can use the version 2 of Eto formula. We get a partial derivative of f with respect to x is same as sigma times f the partial derivative of f with respect to t plus of second order partial derivative of f with respect to x that is same as mu times f. When you solve these two equations we get f of t comma x is same as e power mu minus sigma square by 2 times t plus sigma of x. Hence the stock price at time t that s of t is same as e power mu minus sigma square by 2 multiplied by t plus sigma times wt, where wt is a Brownian motion. And in the second example, this is called the ownstein ollenbeck process and the corresponding stochastic differential equation is this. And this equation is also known as the Langevin equation. Using the Ito formula, you can find the solution of x of t also. x of t is of this form. The third uh, example, this is also has application in uh, financial mathematics that is called a SSE interest rate model where r of t is a instantaneous interest rate. The corresponding uh, stochastic differential equation is this you can find the strong solution for this stochastic differential equation also. Both examples 2 and 3 can be solved as explained for example 1. The detailed solution can still be seen in the problem sheet. So these are all the three important stochastic differential equation will be discussed in the next lecture and we will find the solution using a Ito formula version 1 or version 2. These are all the references for uh, today's lecture. So with this uh, we have completed starting with the Brownian motion, geometric Brownian motion and uh, stochastic differential equation, Ito integrals and uh, how to solve the stochastic differential equation using Ito formula. In the next lecture we are going to discuss some important stochastic differential equations and their solutions.